This is going to fade back toward the middle of the fairway. This could be very good. And it is. Fowler at the first. Well, a beautiful little low pitch. Love this putting stroke. You can just see a little bit of a release. You know, it's kind of a little bit of a lag and a release. Wind out of the right here. This ball started the right and drawing toward the hole. I'm not going to get all the way over there. Yeah, perfect. Chuck, Chuck. Marry the pace and the speed. And boy, might have just hit that too hard. He did. Just pounded that. Hybrid driving iron, that thing that he hits about head high and 270. <laughs> and really, really straight. Yeah, that one. And that bunker is 278 off the tee. Fowler from 149. Well, he is still dialed in. So good. When these guys start feeling it. Take two balls out on the left. He tried to take the break out of it and then didn't hit it hard enough. He'd certainly like to be under par by the time he got to this tee. Yeah. Ricky is, he's one under, and this is nicely down the right center. That split perfectly. Try to fade it in there. They're not going to make you pull the flag stick anymore in a couple of years. There's plenty of room there. Stick or no stick. That ball will fit in that hole. This one is probably going to break two and a half, three feet to his left overall. Ooh, a little power outage. The wind moving left to right, it will promote a, a fade. This one starting at the middle of the green, high, and working its way over there. That's very nice. Yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay, at the sixth, Fowler. And that's just right back up the hill, moving right. And I mean, this is going to take every ounce of energy. That might be as hard as I've ever seen him swing at it. Yeah, you just got to make sure you get it down the hill. Just like that, Johnny. Yeah, two hops and check. Pretty, pretty good shot there. That was uh, very difficult to judge that. Well, this is uphill moving to the left. Well, you gave that one plenty of pace after leaving a couple dying at the hole. Three good ones. Oh, yeah. Double bogeys are higher, but now Fowler shot on the way. From way below the level of the green and the thick stuff here at eight, and that's uh, really well judged. And all of his angles are so good. I mean, his head is right, his <laughs> eyes right over the ball. They're two of the longest players in the game. Ricky's beating them both. I don't know if there's a lesson there or not. I'm just I'm just looking at the score and I was just going to say eight under par. But yet as Joe said he has plenty of room right in front of it. Well, so again, you're factoring in the pace of the putt. Out of this rough so far this week, and there's nowhere to land this one for it to chase. Well, you almost have to land it short of the green in order to get it close. Actually, that's not a bad play. A lot to consider here. The answer? Joe said he hadn't discussed it yet. 
It's <laughs> safe today. That's a pretty good shot, though. By numbers, putting by numbers. Looks like you didn't get to the first spot properly that time. A little back into the breeze here, 420 yards. And this is hugging that left hand side, now fading a little bit. Very good drive. Well, he makes that little checkpoint halfway back, make sure the club is positioned properly. Back fire, you can just take this right at it. Is it up? Is it enough? I just airmailed it, and he was posing on it. Well, the grass is all beaten down back there. Just trying to pop it up onto the green. Off. Just like that. That's what he was trying to do. That's excellent. And this was short-sided and very difficult. Well done. This is right over the bunkers. Here's Fowler. Well, much lower on a great line here, though. Shot, Rick. Well done, dude. Pretty. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Could this be the start of something again? Yeah, this is just a layup. Shot. Chopping it out to a number. Pulls it back up the hill. Oh, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Oh. Remember the run he had yesterday going at this green. It's downwind. That is less than driver. There's water left and a couple of big, deep bunkers on the right. But take a look at Ricky Fowler. So he'll have that for an eagle to get even closer to Jason Day. You got to like Ricky's chances here, moving just a touch right at the hole if it loses its speed. How about it? That gets Fowler to within one. Oh, he's done very well, and this could get to the front edge of the green. Wow, nearly carried it hole high. Ricky Fowler with just a mediocre lie from right of the green. That will skitter on by. Eight for nine this week and scrambling four for four today. That'll help your score. This is on a pretty nice line, just a touch right of the hole. <laughs> what a shot from Fowler. And this is a very quick putt, Jimmy, moving from his right to left down the hill. Boy, can this guy heat up. And on the back nine these last two days, he has been something special. So Fowler and Day. So hence the ball speeds down. Just try to get that ball up in the air. Now it'll be interesting in that uh, blue grass. All right, Bones, Ricky laid up. He did, Steve, and he's got 103 yards, but straight down win. The question is, did he leave a number he can get some good spin on? This is just a little right of the hole. Let's see how close it gets. He laid up yesterday, made par. He laid up today, and he has that for a birdie. No bones. It's going to, just like his putt on 17, but not quite enough break red there. I was about to say, over the course of the last 24 holes, Ricky is 13 under par. He stood on the 12th tee yesterday. At even par, ripped off six straight birdies. And then today, he shoots a seven under par 64. So Ricky Fowler right there heading to the weekend.